The city of Merritt is trying to sweeten the pot to help keep electric vehicle maker Edison Motors from leaving the community for a fresh start in Terrace. Edison Motors founder and CEO Chase Barber says the hybrid electric logging truck company started in his backyard but is now ready to move up north to an old Hayes truck stop in Terrace. So we put in an offer, the offer got accepted but it's pending rezoning. We just need a conditional zoning amendment to allow us to do one specific activity on the commercially zoned property. I grew up here, my friends are here, our workers live here, I would have like to stay here if we could have found a way to make it work. Luckily, um, after that little news story came out, the city reached back out and they're like, hey, what do we need to do? But it's still a long process to go through, but. The company is currently working to complete eight orders of its hybrid truck and wherever they end up, they are planning on hiring between 40 and 50 employees. You just can't afford anything around here. It's all being bought up, like we said, by investors who are selling to other investors and one of the problems is is that the land is like the mayor said seven hundred thousand dollars an acre we were getting quotes of a million dollars an acre that's not viable for businesses when well geez for two hundred thousand an acre or so we bought the land and a shop in terrace an actual shop for less than a third of the amount of buying the, just the bare land and merit with nothing on it. Like it's not economically feasible for businesses. Pending the rezoning amendment, Merritt Mayor Mike Getz said the city would absolutely like to see the company stick around and they may have a few tricks up their sleeves. We're very limited for the amount of land that we have in our community and we really don't have any land that would really purposely suit what they were looking for. So we started working with them and some developers around the community, getting them together to talk about possibly leasing, buying, or working on some sort of a, a project, and that's who they've been dealing with. All of that falls through. Then the city has some acreage that we are developing right now that uh, we would be putting into uh, to, to lease it out to somebody. It's about four acres, and it's something that we could look at working with them on that on a, on a fair uh, lease agreement. Getz said much of the land in Merritt has been purchased by private industry. He said while he hopes Edison will stay, ultimately they'll go with the option that's best for their company. For Casanet Kamloops, I'm Josh Dawson.